What's going on, everybody? Uh, we are back here in some more uh, Need for Speed Heat. So, in today's video, um, it's kind of a, a, theory, a theory type video, if you want to call it that. If you if you really want to call it that. But uh, yesterday, or the, the other day, I ended up seeing... Uh, a post on YouTube talking about the story of Player uh, and the Need for Speed franchise. So, if some of you are unaware of, if some of you are unaware of what, of who Player is, um, Player was one of is the character from Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, Need for Speed Underground, uh, Need for Speed. Carbon, uh, Underground 1 and 2, most, you know, I, I'm sure you guys get it, but, um, and if people are also unaware of that, there, there is a, actually a whole connected storyline. Um, so for most of you who actually know the storyline, um, it, it's got to be a lot easier for me to explain, uh, but for those of you who, uh, if those of you who actually don't really know um, of the the storyline, I'm gonna try to you know sum it up a, as quickly or as short as I can. Um, but first, um, we'll we'll start off with the the Need for Speed Common Prelude. So the story of the story of player starts in Olympic City, which uh, Need for Speed Carbon takes place. Uh, so he's one of those racers uh, who gets, you know, who gets set up or framed or, you know, or something like that. A race goes sideways, a bag of money gets swished, and it's all uh, set up by his old crew leader, uh, Darius. And he ends up running and everything like that. Which brings in to the uh, series of uh, Need for Speed uh, Underground, I believe. So you end up going to, to Bayview uh, in Need for Speed Underground 1. Uh, you do uh, races there and everything like that. You know, you beat Eddie. And then you end up, you know, missing and losing. Or will you end up... Uh, getting into some uh, some bad stuff and then you end up leaving and then going to Olympic City which is uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 and you go through a whole a whole thing about that um, and everything which brings into the events of Need for Speed Most Wanted now what a lot of people don't know uh, is the whole lore of the uh, BMW GTR and 3 GTR. So, if people are unaware, uh, the, B, the the certain BMW that used in Most Wanted is not a regular BMW. It's not the E46. It, it's the actual BMW M3 GTR, which most of you know. That car is only present and only ever found from the Pro Circuit racing. Um, but there was a time that, in real life, only seven of those cars were actually made, uh, street legal, I believe. Seven or seventeen of the cars. Uh, but, there, I, I think there, there's a couple of things that people have done, uh, that kind of missed the, the whole thing. Uh, as the story, the story goes, um... Before the events of Most Wanted, I believe that after the events of uh, Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Underground 1, and Need for Speed Underground 2, I believe Need for Speed Proj Street and then Need for Speed Shift are before the events of Most Wanted. Because I... If you guys have seen some of the cutscenes uh, for Need for Speed Most Wanted, 
there, there's always been references and hints to uh, the BMW being a stolen car. Um, you know, people, people know that it's an actual race car, the car is hot, it's stolen, um, and it is a GTR circuit race bike. Um, so I believe that's why I think the events of Pro Street and then uh, Need for Speed Shift 1 and 2, and then the events of Lost One. Um, then we go into uh, back into Need for Speed Carbon, which is the last known place that a player uh, has been, which is uh, back into Olympic City, which where Need for Speed Carbon takes place. Uh, so, a lot of people think that's where uh, player's story ends, um, but I don't think so. Because uh, for most of you, uh, I think the most recent sighting for player is actually Need for Speed 2015. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know or actually know this, that Need for Speed 2015 is pretty much Underground 3. Uh, it, it's it's much like Underground 3. It's always night. It's got drifting. It's got racing. It's got dragging. Everything that had that Need for Speed Underground had. So I I think Need for Speed 2015 is probably one of, is probably the canon for the Underground series, and I believe that was the most uh, recent sighting for for a player. He left uh, Olympic City. And he showed up to Ventura Bay. So, uh, if you guys know that player well enough, uh, well, that player moves around a lot, as you can tell. And, uh, and I think uh, he went to uh, Ventura Bay, where Need for Speed uh, 2015 takes place, and he fell in with another crew there. Uh, because if if you watch the the beginning of the game, it you know it just kind of shows up. And you did a 500 foot drift, and you know, and it's one of those games where you know you play as player as a un uh, unlivelihood character. Uh, you play in, uh, the cutscenes are in first person, and everything so. Uh, I, I think it's canon that Need for Speed 2015 is uh, part of the story of Player, and the uh, recent sightings for Player I think is still remains in 2015. But I could be wrong about that because if you show up here, I, I don't think it'll it'll lock onto it. But um. I think player is as well in Need for Speed Heat. You play as player in Need for Speed Heat, the first um, character character optimized uh, player. He shows up here in Heat and shows up into uh, Need for Speed Unbound, and I'll actually kind of get I'll actually kind of tell you why. So if you guys played Need for Speed Payback. There is a little section in, you know, when you have to collect the tapes and everything like that. There is a little interaction with Sergeant Cross. Uh, if you guys know Sergeant Cross, you guys know Sergeant Cross. But there was a interaction with him uh, about, you know, trying to get all the racers off of the street scene or the racing scene, and and said that he was going right back to Rockport. And I, in reality, I think that he was still hunting player, because uh, the last known thing that we know about Sergeant Cross is that he's uh, that he's a bounty hunter. He turned bounty hunter, and but uh, Darius paid off his bounty. But who knows that he, you know, he um, raised the bounty and he's you now back hunting player again. So. In my, 
in my like defense of, of of everything, uh, player left Olympic City because that's the only last known place that he's known. And Sergeant Cross was in if you speak car carbon, and I'm pretty sure that he knew that uh, Cross was there, or he knew that player was there. So, um. So fast forward, uh, he's still a moving, uh, a Brahmin racer, a moving racer. So I, I feel like Flair is still very much uh, the character that you do play. Uh, so here in Need for Speed Heat, you take on Mercer and want to, and towards the end of the game. And look what he has. He's got the, the actual real uh, BMW M3 GTR. Um, and you end up uh, obtaining that car uh, after supposedly totaling it in Need for Speed Carbon. A lot of people think that the GTR got totaled uh, by the truck. Uh, but I actually don't feel like that the car was actually totaled. Uh, in, in my in my theories, uh, I, I feel like that car wasn't totaled, and that Darius ended up taking it and he sold it, um, without players' knowledge. Um, and then, uh, And then you end up retaining it here in heat because it's made its round. It made its round and everything uh, throughout the years. And player finally gets it back here in heat. Uh, you finally get the car back. So I, I, I don't know uh, the whole knowledge of how the car ended up in Need for Speed Unbound uh, because um, if you do one of the high heat deliveries for, um, uh, for not test for a gas, uh, it's actually for the BMW, um, and it, it does actually kind of make sense because there's, there's a whole reference here. It's actually right here in the game. So there's a whole reference for right here. The prison is, uh, the Callahan. So, uh, th there's Fort Callahan. There we go, right here, Fort Callahan. Uh, so I think uh, Razor uh, was in jail here uh, in uh, Paradise City. I think this is Paradise City. Uh, but um, he knew that the GTR uh, was. He knew that the car was back in town. And that's when he was getting ready to get out. So, and then, I, again, I still don't know, entirely know how the car ended up from, oh, oh good. I don't know, I, I don't entirely know how the car ended up in Unbound and well, Lakeside um, from Heat because it, it's a car that you obtain um, looking at it in a story-wise. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how, but um, the car gets you deliver the car to the blacklist, aka Razor, because um, the blacklist and Razor are the only two thing living things for Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, and the story-wise, I actually kind of think that it's references and teasers to a Need for Speed Most Wanted too. I think that we are in the works of getting Most Wanted 2. Razor comes back with the BMW, player returns, you know, we're going to have a whole uh, run around with the story. Uh, so, because if you guys looked at the Unbound Roadmap, uh, there's there's three three parts to, to uh, the update roadmaps, which was the uh, underground update, 
and then we have the Hot Pursuit update, but the third update they haven't released yet because it's question marks and you know, and it's the last, I think it's the last roadmap update for Unbound. Which leads me, and you know, with all these themed updates for Unbound, you know, how how could they, you know, they did Hot Pursuit and they did Need for Speed Underground, so it, it would make sense for them to release the Most Wanted update, doing a blacklist. Uh, but, um, it, it's, it's not, there's nothing about it. Which leads me to believe that the final update roadmap is going to be some kind of teaser for Almost Wanted 2. I think the next Need for Speed is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2. That's what I kind of think. So, um, I, for right now, I think, as of right now, I think player is still very much around with as yourself um, with Need for Speed Heat and Need for Speed Unbound. Um, I, I really think that you're still a player and, and Need for Speed Underground or Need for Speed Unbound and Need for Speed Heat are the first iterations of actually having uh, a third person customizable character for a player. Um, another thing I, I forgot to mention is that you never really, you never really have known, uh, who a player actually is, what his name is, or, uh, anything like that, so, uh, I, I think, I, I kind of think that Tyler Morgan is outside of the, um, the whole, you know, Tyler Morgan's player thing, or if it's, uh, Toby Marshall from the... Uh, real life Need for Speed film. The one person that I do actually kind of believe who is player from Need for Speed anything is Ryan Cooper. Um, he's from Ryan Cooper is from Need for Speed Pro Street. And having a circuit, having a, an actual real circuit race car, BMW M3 GTR, uh, having a, a circuit race car. And Ryan Cooper being known for, you know, being in the, the Pro League for Need for Speed Pro Street, and then turning around and becoming some, uh, a pro driver, pro level driver for Need for Speed Shift. And then he seals the BMW uh, M3 GTR and then goes back to Rock goes back to Rockport and Palomount City and he loses the, the GTR. So I that that's the entire story uh for me, uh I think personally. Um the entire story of player. I still like I said, I still kind of believe that you're still player from uh the most wanted series and everything, but um, if it's like a, a cinematic type of timeline thing, uh, he his recent appearance was Need for Speed 2015. Uh, so that, that's my whole theory. And he could have, if it's a, uh, oh, if it's a timeline type thing, I think it's. Um, if you speak 2015, that's the last actual appearance of player. But um, I think uh, throughout all Need for Speeds um, is the entire story of player. But uh, that's only up for you guys to decide. So uh, I think uh, I think that's about it uh, for this video. Uh, I just wanted to come in here and actually, you know do this type of video because I was actually very curious and and I just uh, found a couple of videos in the last couple of days about the story of player throughout the Need for Speed franchise so and with uh, the recent 
up upbringing of Unbound, uh, there also could be a uh, you know a theory that Racer X for Unbound is player. Um, there, there's a whole lot of speculation uh, to what the next update for Unbound could be. Um, so I, I thought I'd, I'd come in here and make a video and, you know, revolving around uh, Razer, the return of Razer, uh, the BMW M3 GTR having such a big presence uh, since payback, or actually no, since 2015, uh, funny enough. But um, I think it's something that uh, I think people got to look in more into, and I think in the, for a long time I think uh, Ghost and Criterion have been kind of teasing something uh, for a while now. So um, that's only up for you to decide. But uh, I think that's about it for uh, this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.